Hey everyone, it's Sarah C. with Full Circle Healing. Happy Sunday, January 5th, uh, 2020. So, we ordered a new, uh, a new, um, tripod. So, hi. So, uh, bear with me while I prop this stuff up. Um, I have all my cards out. I figured I'd do a little romance reading. A quick one at that. Um, I'll be using uh, Amara's Love Oracles. Okay. I'm not too, too familiar with these, so bear with me. I might have to look into my book. But, uh, wait a minute to concentrate. Oh, hey. I want to take that. Angels. My spirits are give a message to my peeps. So what is the love message for this week? What is a love message for this week? January 6th through the 12th. Actually, it's the 5th through the 12th. What are my messages to give these people? This is a general reading. Uh, if uh, anything resonates with you, great. If not, the message wasn't for you. It's for somebody else. What romance messages, love messages, do you have for everyone for this week, January 6th through the 12th? I keep saying 6th to the 12th, so we're just going to go with that. January 6th through the 12th. I'm not very good at shuffling. Can you see? So whatever falls, I usually just take it. <clears throat> so we got true love, travel, blonde or a redhead female, and I want one more. A mature man. Okay. So, true love is true love. Let's see what the... Uh, the book has. I've got a trusty book. Yes, I do. Sorry, my hands are shaking a lot to breathing treatment and uh, makes me real jittery. So, patience with me. Hope everybody's having a, uh, a good Sunday so far. We've got a lot of these in here. Oh, of course it would be on the last page. <laughs> okay. So the first card is true love. Okay. Happiness, strong bond, innocence, natural feeling of ease, joy, a heart connection. Do you have your true love? Travel. You going somewhere? Maybe having a long-distance relationship. Um, you could be going on a holiday, a vacation, a work trip, a honeymoon. Ooh, true love and travel. It could be a, a, a wedding and a honeymoon. Um, are you a person that travels for work or work is importing or exporting goods and services? Um, this could be you. So you have a true love traveling. Very well, could somebody could be getting married this week and uh, planning a, a wedding uh, or getting married and going on a honeymoon or planning a wedding. Um, the blonde female is uh, gotta find this one. Sorry. Yeah, there's a lot of cards in this deck. I, I absolutely love this deck, and I have not done a bad reading yet. It's been totally accurate. So, but I have to still get acquainted with all the cards. What happens when you're working with a new deck? Uh, let's see. Now, the blonde female can either be yourself...
or I'm not finding this. Here we go. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. It's a blonde or a redheaded, fair or fair female of any age. This woman is significant in your reading, or this could be you. So, is there anybody um, in your life? Oh, whoopsie, that has significance in your life that's got blonde hair, red hair, or she's just fair, any age, um, or is this you? I think these cards want to be read. This was gifted to me by my good friend, Todd Wakefield. Thanks, Todd. I love these cards. Um, okay, and mature man. Got a mature man here. Mature man can be uh, somebody that's distinguished, uh, graying or balding, an older male, um, smart, got his shit together. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to find him too. Okay, so experienced, life experience, a man who is mature-minded despite his age, responsible man, bald, shaved hair, or grayish hair, you know, go with your hunch, never argue with a hunch or an inner feeling, people, and don't stay with anyone who doesn't treat you well, you deserve the best possible treatment in every way. Now, <clears throat> here, I mean, this very well could be you, is this you? Are you the fair-haired girl? And is this your guy? You found your true love. Either you travel somewhere for work or you're going to get married and you're, you're planning your honeymoon. Um, but this week, whether it happens exactly this week or if the intention is putting is put forth, um, I would look into this in the future. So, you know, you might get engaged this weekend or something. So this is to your true love. And then, you know, in the future, you're going to be planning these traveling, those, these trips, you know. Um, let me pull one more. Beauty Queen. Wallflower. Beauty Queen is a shining light, living to your full potential inside and out. Theater, drama, dancing, being on stage, just winning. Are you winning? Are you the Beauty Queen? Is this you? <laughs> Wallflower, not living to your true potential, boredom, out of fashion, uh, not dressed up or wearing hair and makeup to bring out your best features despondency not making an effort or laziness so are you stuck is this the real you and you're stuck in like alice's hole alice's rabbit hole are you stuck there no energy you don't want to do shit you're depressed it just you know you're not where you want to be you're not you're not living to your full potential here okay so i think Things are going to turn around starting this week. You're going to have the true love, the travel. I think this is you. I think. <laughs> I think these are all you, girl. And, you know, you can. Uh, I keep pushing on the table. That's what's happening. This can be male or female. There's no genre here. But this guy loves you. Okay. You know, pull yourself out of your shit. You're going to be with this guy or girl. She could be a mature grade woman, too. Who's your true love and plan that wedding. Plan that future. Plan that trip. I hope this resonated with you guys. Uh, not all messages are made for you. They might be made for somebody else. This is a general reading for entertainment purposes. 
Um, I hope you liked my reading. I do private readings. Again, I said, you know, I'm new to this deck, so uh, I'm still feeling it out a little bit. But I thank you for sharing with me today. And um, good luck this week. All positive things and many blessings. Many, many blessings. <laughs>